This morning, three Americans imprisoned in North Korea are now back home here in the U.S. They arrived in Washington just after 2 o'clock this morning. President Trump was there to welcome them. Their release, a symbolic move by the North Korean President Kim Jong-un, ahead of a historic planned meeting with President Trump. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest from Washington. Overnight, the highly anticipated moment, three Korean Americans detained in North Korea back in the U.S., welcomed by President Trump. It was a very important thing to all of us to be able to get these three great people out. The ex-prisoners throwing up peace signs, a patriotic homecoming for the men who appear to be in good health. Kim Dung Chol, sentenced to hard labor in North Korea in 2015. Kim Hak Song and Kim Sang Duk last year. Yes, uh, we were treated in many different ways. Uh, for me, I had to do a lot of labor. But when I got sick, I was also treated by them. The release, symbolic, and a victory for President Trump ahead of his planned summit with dictator Kim Jong-un. He was nice in letting him go before the meeting. I mean, frankly, we didn't think this was going to happen. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo escorted the men to the U.S. He was in the North working out the details for the president's meeting with Kim, a location and time now set. One reported location, Singapore, has been floated by President Trump. The president focused on the goal of the historic summit, a denuclearized Korean peninsula. My proudest achievement will be, this is a part of it, but will be when we denuclearize that entire peninsula. This is what people have been waiting for for a long time. President Trump says he believes Kim Jong-un wants to bring his country into the real world. The ex-presidents are being evaluated and treated at Walter Reed Medical Center. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington.